Okay. So, well, first of all, I want to show you guys my caramel apple because I'm going to eat it. So you get to watch me unbox this really quick. All right, we're talking about Ilhan Omar. Il, Il, Ilhan Omar is that yes? We're talking about Ilhan Omar and her basically being kicked off the Foreign Affairs Committee. Um, it, like I have seen so like a couple of videos that are trying to criticize this and they're calling her like a bigot. They're saying she's like super biased. Um, to kick the only black African person off of the Foreign Affairs Committee in 2023 is like a different level of American stupidity. But are we surprised? No! <laughs> it's just like... Aldous Gambino. Like, this is America. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that was really stupid because it's not like there's anyone else. Who are they going to put? Like, that Rosario Dawson looking bitch? Like, I swear to God. Like, the left has gone straight to hell. But also, I didn't understand. So here's the thing that you have to understand. Like, if you want to understand how do you say womanhood talk to a continental african woman in america if you really truly want to like understand god like fucking what it means to be a woman go talk to an african woman i'm not saying that lightly i'm serious um yeah African women have seen genocide in a way other women just never will. Latin American women have seen it too, but I think too many of them have died to like to say shit and most of them don't get any education ever, so um they're kind of too stupid to speak on a lot of shit. Anyway, I'm sorry. Um, oh wow, that's good. Hmm. Wow. Um, where are they going with this? Okay, so Ilhan Omar and the Foreign Affairs Policy Team. Mm, they're... She gave a talk in Minneapolis, I guess. So she's like a senator in Minneapolis. She goes back to the elementary school she grew up in. Starts talking to the people there. About all the anti-poverty programs. She's basically trying to do what the Black Panthers did in Minneapolis. Which I'm not really mad about, but... There were some policies that were like, Oh, we want to give like $300 a month to poor families and... It's very socialist. Um, I'm not sure if she's a socialist. I don't know. Um, I believe in free market capitalism. Poor people need to stop having children that they can't pay for. Like, if you broke, you need to take you out of store and stop fucking and having babies that you expect the taxpayers to pay for. I'm not interested in paying for your poor child to go to nowhere not the ymca not nowhere like you pay yourself it costs money you can pay like the rest of us why should we all have to pay i mean fuck them seriously it's just like the older i get every fucking month a bill comes and i have to pay it where's the social program for me there isn't fucking any and I never got any growing up either. Like how am I being punished for having a fucking job? Fuck that. Poor people should just I don't know. Stop having children really. That's what the solution is. I think it's interesting to follow her though to see everybody else kind of attack her. When she's pretty moderate. Like People were calling her like a Muslim extremist. Like she definitely is Muslim, but nothing about Ilhan Omar is fucking extreme. Like y'all have not seen Muslim extremism. 
Hot bitches, as moderate as they come. If you want to talk about, like, extremism, go watch those videos in Ethiopia. They're, like, cutting off the heads of the dudes. They just cut them off right on TV. <laughs> That's extremism. Ilhan Omar wants to start an anti-poverty program. I mean, I don't... She's a socialist, but she's not fucking, like, a Muslim radical. This bitch has, like, a hijab and, you know, an anti-poverty agenda. I don't know how... <laughs> I was watching some Indian political channel. They're all like, yeah, she's a fascist. Kick her off the panel. It is hilarious to see anybody from India saying anything. You know, it's like, start with your own shit, bitch. Like, India still has a caste system. And all these motherfuckers keep coming over here with all their bullshit. Like, I don't have any stories of any person, any black person I know who works with an Indian person. There's never a good story. It's literally a story about them being an asshole. Really working with all Asian people is like, they're just all assholes. Like, they don't know how to interact with everybody else. They just, like, really believe that they're, like, better. Which, it's okay to believe that. Like, if you believe that you are that much better and you are not interested in participating in community and you're Asian, go to China, bro. It's a real place. You can go. We don't have to see you. Like, it's fine like anyone really from any other racial group like america is not the place that you come if you're like i am a serious racist who like doesn't want to see people from other groups see how like i feel like that and like y'all are literally watching me leave america (laughs) that's how that goes like you get to be extreme in your own country and i don't know why there's some belief that black people don't have our own country like we do a whole continent so i don't understand <laughs> like, but like there are black americans that's the thing that's like really strange right it's like but everybody knows that there's like black americans here it's not like a secret you know like, oh, i don't have to whatever it's also weird too because like ilhan elmar is like super pro-immigrant I like the Democrats keep talking about whatever's happening. Sorry. Uh, in New York is actually really funny. So it looks like Mayor Adams finally said last week, we can't take in any more immigrants. We've hit the limit. And he's making the single adults. I think it's mostly single adult males. They have 60 days to get up out of the shelter. Um, Which makes sense. Like, yeah. Capable ass adult men who have come to America. They, I guess, they're struggling with getting work permits, so they have to work under the table, which is a real thing. But I will say this: if you literally cross over the, like, if you walk through a river from Mexico on like Saturday or some shit, and by like Tuesday you are literally in New York with a work permit, a whole ass hotel room, and a job in america y'all have like hacked the american dream in ways i i I couldn't even imagine like (laughs) you are winning at fucking like you have legitimately hacked everything like that's crazy all right bro the come up is real I'm going to sneak my black ass into Mexico. I've already done it. You can actually take a Greyhound bus to Tijuana, which, um, if I do hit my limits, okay, of, like, had enough of this bullshit, yeah, I might just catch me in Tijuana because there are some days. (laughs) There are some days, um, I don't know. I'll put the link in the in the description box. But I wonder what you guys think. Like, did anyone else know that she got kicked off the foreign affairs uh, group? 
Now she's on the budget committee. Mm. I don't know. I'm not a Democrat, so I never really paid attention to Ilhan Omar's politics, but as an African person, I will start paying attention to the shit that she does and says, because she had a whole snippet on Somalia, which I thought was fascinating. Mm, Because, yeah, extremist groups in Somalia have a serious war happening. Also, there's a famine in Ethiopia. Mm. And she is very educated on both of those issues. I can't, for the life of me, understand why people keep asking her about Israel and Palestine. I think this is about Christianity versus um, Muslim, Islam. Um, And she's like, you know, Islamic. It might be about, it's about, it's about religious warfare and territory. It's something like that. But I'm not sure what's happening in Palestine. For the life of me, I always hear people talk about that. And I don't understand, like... The religious mongers seem to just go on and on and fucking on day after day, year after year, and we all have to fucking listen, and it is so frustrating. Like, it is so, like, who gives a shit? Like, who cares? Nobody cares! Nobody gives a shit, okay, in a world of free market capitalism where Elon Musk is building a literally a Neuralink brain, okay, and NLE Trampa is shooting people on stage. Um, also, Dale talking about how she's going to kill people who throw shoes at her. That was so funny. That's so funny. Um, I'm going to put the offensive tea video about what happened at the Grammys there's a link in the description box here because if you haven't seen this and you need a laugh like i be needing a laugh <laughs> oh that's a million dollar laugh anyway what are your thoughts